Hey guys, I'm Beth Bowers with Power to the Paws Pet Services and Education and Texas Pet CPR and First Aid. February is dental month, which is so important for your pets. Research has shown now that there's a connection between poor oral hygiene and liver, heart, lung, and kidney diseases. You not brushing your pet's teeth for the first three years of their life is equivalent to you not going to the dentist until you were 20. That's crazy. You would never do that. You would never do that to your children. So let's not do it to our fur children either. So we wanted to make sure that we talked to you about home care and what you can start doing for your pets. If your pets are in need of a dental cleaning, please schedule it. You know how much it hurts when you have tooth pain. You can only imagine what your pets are going through and they can't tell you. Couple of tools that I wanna go over with you. Um, you're gonna to wanna to have toothbrushes, okay? So there's a finger toothbrush, which actually just slips onto your finger, okay? That makes it really, really simple to brush your pet's teeth and a little more comfortable for them. But if you don't wanna do that, they have dog toothbrushes um, that are really long, but they have a small end and a bigger end so that you can uh, size it for your pet. Now, you also wanna make sure that you use a pet toothpaste, okay? Um, pet toothpaste are flavored and they are much, much more uh, comfortable because they taste good for the pet and they're much safer also, okay? So the pet can swallow these, uh, this toothpaste versus human toothpaste. Never use human toothpaste with your pets. When you first start off with your pets, it's really helpful um, for dogs. You can use peanut butter, but just get a square gauze piece and dip it in peanut butter and actually just start to kind of get them familiar with what it's like to have your fingers in their mouth, right? Cats, you can use tuna juice. Um, so it's always really helpful to start off with something that they really, really enjoy and work them up to this, okay? Now, when we start, you always wanna make sure that you're approaching your pet from behind the pet, so back here, or to their side, so that they are more comfortable. Never approach your pet from the front and try and do this on the front end, okay? So I'm gonna use my uh, finger toothbrush for potato, okay? Now typically I would put my pet toothpaste on here, but I just want to keep it clear so that you can see everything. So when we go to brush their teeth, you always want to start in the back. Good job, potato. Thank you so much for volunteering for us. Okay, and so you want to make sure that you brush each surface of each tooth as much as you can. Now, potato's really good, but I know that not all dogs are potatoes, and that's okay, right? You want to make sure that you always start in the back and move forward and make sure that you get the insides and outsides of the teeth, okay? Uh, because that's really, really important um, for getting that plaque removed, okay? When you're able to remove the plaque on a couple times a week, at least once a week, um, then you can avoid that plaque turning into tartar, which then ends up building up on the teeth, causing gingivitis and periodontal disease, all the things we don't want, okay? So really, really important to do home care with your pets. If you have any questions, please let me know. We go over this and so much more in our Pet CPR and First Aid class. Um, check out our next one coming up with powertothepaws.com forward slash events.